Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to talk about the Shogun series. Let's get going. Well, hey there, stop by today. It's a little bit more about the Cloud Ninja Shogun workstation, which is gonna feature four by 40, 90 GPUs. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. Let's get going. All right, so the heart of this box obviously is gonna be the four 40, 90s. But before we hop into the GPUs, let's go ahead and talk about a little bit of the other specs in here. So for starters, this has one CPU, which is gonna be running on an AMD Ryzen Threadripper, which is gonna be the 3000 WX and the 5000 WX. Those are gonna be the series that you can put inside. All right, let's chat RAM. So there are eight DIMM slots inside. It takes a number of different speeds. You can go as low as 2133 or all the way up to 3200 speed, which is definitely what we recommend. Put as fast a RAM as you can because this speed or this box is built for performance. The 4090s are just crazy as a whole, what you can get out of them. So I would definitely recommend to keep up with that with fast RAM. So 3200 speed is the way to go. There's a number of different types of RAM that you can use. You can use non-ECC, you can use ECC unbuffered, or you can use ECC registered. We recommend ECC ECC registered, you're gonna get much, much more scalability. The non-ECC and the ECC unbuffered will max out at 256 gigabytes total. Whereas with ECC registered, heck, you can just put in one module that's 256 gigabyte and you can go all the way up to two terabytes with ECC registered. So that's definitely the way that we recommend going, which means that yes, you can put in 256 gigabyte sticks. So that's the highest stick that you can put in there overall. But yes, you can put in stuff like 16 gigs or 32 gigs or 64 gig modules. These are our, our, like the sweet spot. So we put in a lot of times uh, 864 gigs, get this up to 512 gigabytes, and that's gonna be a great uh, mix with the four by 40 90s. So that's what we would recommend. So all right, well, let's talk a little bit more about the storage. All right, so there are eight hot swap large form factor or 3.5 inch drives that you can put in the front. You can put in SAS or you can put in SATA, whichever you prefer, or you can put in solid state drives as well. The max that you can put in is 20 terabytes per drive, at least according to Supermicro spec sheet. I wouldn't be surprised if you put in a 22 terabyte drive, I'm sure it worked just fine. And I'm sure there'll be even bigger drives in the future that come out that will also work. But according to Supermicro spec sheet, 20 terabytes per or up to 160 terabytes total is what you can put in this box, which really is it's kind of overkill and not really what you need since this is a GPU box. You don't really need the storage, but theoretically you could put that much in. All right, so some of the other features you're gonna have, as far as the PCIe is concerned, there are six physical PCIe 4.0 by 16 slots. These full size slots slots are capable of accommodating a wide range of expansion cards, including graphic cards, RAID controllers, network adapters, and more. The four graphic cards are covering up two of the PCIe slots in the configuration that we have here. There's also four M.2 PCIe 4.0 slots. These are for your uh, smaller M.2 NVMe drives, great for boot drive, uh, something we de definitely recommend. Most ones that we are building have one or two come with them, but there are four spots for M.2. And there's also two U.2 PCIe 4.0 by four slots, and these slots are compatible with U.2 NVMe SSDs. One other important note is that the server does have redundant 2200 watt titanium power supplies and this is definitely important because the uh, 4090s will draw some power so you do want to have a nice robust power supply in there and this is a great option as a whole. So one of the big benefits that we haven't highlighted that I really want to talk about is even though we're selling this as a workstation which yes you can throw this in an office and it would be a hell of a workstation incredibly powerful which if you were you know coding video games or something hey this might be uh, the perfect solution for you but you can put this into a rack yes you can rack this and it's not going to create any extra space this is a for you box and that's all the space that it will take so this is a great solution so if you're a hosting company and you're looking for a good gpu solution for buy cores there's probably not a better one out there than this on a price point basis so that's one of the things we really wanted to highlight is you can put this into a rack all right so now the point that most of you've been waiting for the four by 40 90s. How do you have four by 40 90s in a box like this? How do they even fit? Well, let's hop into that. So the 4090 is an ADA Lovelace architecture. There are 16,384 CUDA cores. This is gonna be a big jump from the 10,752 that you had from the previous generation, the 3090s. And one of the things that makes the 4090s so, so great is it is equipped with 24 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory. This 
is great for demanding gaming or professional tasks that need a fast memory speed. So uh, the memory as a whole is great. Now, one of the things that I like to talk about with the 4090s is that while they are not as good as the A100s, uh, the A100s are gonna have um, 80 gigabytes of RAM as compared to 24 for the 4090s. Uh, but the, the A100s, if you go buy a box similar to the box we're showing you right now, it's going to be an 80 to 100 gram box and it's back ordered uh, this box right here is 20 to 25 thousand depending on how you configure it and assuming you're paying via wire and the performance difference between the 4090 and the a100 while it is less isn't that much less when you when you think about it on a price point basis so again i go back to the if you're looking to host and do it by a core solution, there's not a better solution. This is really a great sweet spot from a pricing to performance standpoint. So we wanted to go over some of the general specs as well. So the interface is gonna be uh, PCIe Gen 4. The cores are gonna clock up to, uh, with extreme boost performance, it's gonna clock up to 2640 megahertz. Um, it's, uh, you know again, a great box. The CUDA core is gonna be 16,384. You're gonna have 21 gigabits per second for your memory speed. You're going to have 24 gigabytes of RAM in there. You're going to have four of them in here. So it's going to make this box just so incredibly powerful. It's my favorite box out there right now. So hopefully that gives you a little bit more information about the Shogun box as a whole. And if you want to know more, hey, please email us at sales at cloudninja.com. That's sales at cloudninja.com. We carry these in stock. We can accept bulk orders. So if you needed to buy 100 of them, 200 of them, that is the type of thing that we can do for you. So please email us at sales at cloudninja.com.